So in this next short video, what I'm going to try and do is show you how you achieve um, a sort of three-dimensional effect through just building up tonal values. I think one of the most important things you must understand about watercolour painting is it's really about tone more than anything. Colour is, is secondary, um, so we're going to work on tone. A flat wash here of cobalt blue. What I'm going to do is put a second wash on, mixing up in a wine glass here. So I've mixed more paint into here, into the water that was that, that made up the first wash. So we have a darker tone. I've tested it on my test sheet. And I'm going to paint in sort of background of a, a mountain shape. Once again, once I've established my top line, then I can just simply work down as before in the same wash. So I'm just working down a little bit further and we'll leave that to dry shortly. And that's the second wash. So we're working about 15% darker each time. Right, so I'm coming back in with a, a third wash now, and I'm just going to produce another sort of fairly simple shape. Again, I'm always working down, never going back up to my, uh, my top line. And I'm trying to achieve, as soon as I can, Flat line, flat wash. And then I'll just work that down to the bottom. So what we've got now, this is where you've got to get your head around this because if you don't, you'll never go any further. We've got a one tone, a two tone, and a three tone. But these two tones combined will make a tonal value of three. And then when you put the third tone on, you've actually got a tonal value of six here. So this is six times darker than that, whereas that is just three times darker. I'll show you it when we've finished all in numbers. Now I'm only going to do five washes, so there's two more to go. So this is the fourth wash. Again, I'm mixing more paint, more ultramarine into here, so it's a darker colour again. I've tested it. I'll test it here. I can see it's darker than my third wash. And I'll put another shape on. Again, I'm establishing that top line quickly. See how I keep revisiting the glass for more paint. Whoops, that is a mistake. I loaded it too much, but it doesn't matter. I'm quick, we just work it down. That was just because I wasn't watching just put too much water on. But you can't have too much water. The reason why I was able to bring that down that quickly was because there was so much water stored on the paper. So that's four washes. You can see how the tonal values are coming forward. The landscape is, is sort of coming out of this now. So one more to go. Okay, so here I am. I'm on my fifth wash now. So again, testing the colour. Darker colour. It's maybe a little bit too dark. Uh, I'm just going to add a, add a little bit more water in here. With a syringe, it's like the second brush. I use these. Uh, it's the it's the most accurate way of getting exactly how much water you need. I mean, you can do it drip by drip, so you can just pick one of those up. Um, very useful. Okay, so here we are, last wash. I've switched to a smaller brush here because I'm going to introduce just a tiny bit of detail um, in here. It will make sense in a moment. So again, when I've drawn my drawn or painted my shape, what I'm then trying to do is achieve a flat line as quickly as possible. And then just wash down to the bottom. Same principle, you can 
can see the paint is getting really thick now. I couldn't really, I always advocate that you can probably get five or six washes before the, the paint sticks. It actually ends up sticking to the previous layer of paint and you actually end up removing the previous layer of paint, um, which is simply an imperfect wash. That is a perfect wash. Okay, so here's the finished uh, piece we've just done. I'm still videoing in landscape format. Now, you've got to bear in mind this is one colour. All flat washes, there's no variation whatsoever on each wash. You can see here, white paper, first wash, second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay, so as we bring the tones forward, we get a 3D effect. Let me just talk about these tones briefly. Um, let's, where are we? The first tone there, so that's tone number one, is um, when we combine it with the second tone, we end up with a tonal value of three. Okay? One plus two equals three. The third wash, when we combine it with the second and first, we end up with a tonal value of six. This is a tonal value of one. The next wash has a value of four. So we end up with 10. The final wash has a tonal value of 5. So a total of 15. Okay? So this colour is 15 times stronger than the first one. Amazing when you think about it. But that is the basics, the real basics of watercolour painting.